In this video, you will see Julian and Alyssa working on a problem where a farmer has 300 feet of fencing and wants to build a rectangular pen next to her barn. She wants to figure out the dimensions of the pen that will give her the largest area. As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. Here's the barn. Mm -hmm. We want this. Yeah, something like that. Great. Okay, so the area is going to be what base times height, right? Mm -hmm. And we have 300 feet of fence. So isn't it that we have 300 equals base times height? Um, I don't think so. Because like, if it's 300 feet of fence, like we're not filling this area with fence. We're going around with fence. So oh, I see. Like I don't think we'd set our area equal to 300. It's just equal to base time. Because we want to find the largest area. So if we set area equal to 300, that doesn't really help us at all. Okay, so I'm going to cross this out. So, okay, so then... Okay, so then what if... Idea. What if we have, since we have... We have 300 feet of fence. What if we did 100, 100, and 100? Mm -hmm. Would that help us out? Like splitting it up evenly? Yeah, so what's, so that would so be then, area equals. 100 feet times 100 feet, so 10,000. Hmm. I mean, that might be the right answer. I just feel like there are so many different comments. Like, we can't, like, I mean, I think this is a good guess, but I think we'd have to check all of the other possible ways to be able to see if that actually is the highest. It's, yeah. Like, I feel like there's got to be a, like a more precise way to get a definite answer rather than guessing. So if we want to check for all of the possible ways, should we like give these like, I guess like variables? Like, yeah. So what if we did? We have base and height. So we'll do height, height, base, and we want 300. Well, like we just said before the, 300 would be the fence. So do not you mean the, the area. fence? Yeah, yeah so, okay. okay. So let's not put that inside. Let's do, so what if we ended up adding all of them up instead of having that be in the inside? So then do this. Yeah. But now if we have two variables and two equations. Like I don't really know how to simplify that at all to get an easier, like to get anything that we can work with. In this video, Julian and Alyssa tried to guess the dimensions of the pen and write an algebraic equation, but they weren't sure how to deal with multiple variables. We'll explore methods for modeling this type of situation in upcoming videos.